Hi, Alan SoCal. I am reviewing the small rig. This is their model 3959. They call it a small rig rosette arm and uh, they give it a quantitative uh, value of 11 inches which I presume fully extended uh, it would be 11 inches from end to end. So that you could better understand the application of an arm like this, um, uh, I didn't uh, hook this up, let's say, with a video apparatus. I actually grabbed one of my older uh, DSLRs, uh, and um, this is one that I actually use quite a bit when I'm in my shop photographing small items. Um, I work in metal, so lighting with metal, as many photographers would probably agree, is one of the hardest things to do. You've got reflection issues, all sorts of issues with metal. What I always end up doing is what we might call jerry-rigging my lighting, where I will grab anything I've got from a simple C-clamp uh, to, uh, to, to a ball and string affair just to hold lighting in the right position. And that's where this arm comes in from Small Rig. Probably one of the most valuable uh, lighting tools, although it would be an accessory to the lighting as it's not lighting in itself, but certainly the most important accessory to my lighting in that it helps me in positioning the light. Okay, so let me start by explaining what uh, small rig is providing. Uh, it is providing, and this is my light up here, of course, it's a small LED panel, but uh, what they're providing you with is an arm that on each end, uh, they're providing you with a quarter twenty uh, that you can screw into as I did uh, my, uh, and this happens to be a, a actually it's a small rig uh, panel, but uh, it has a quarter twenty on the bottom. And the other thing that you're going to want to take a close look at, if you're not familiar with what they call the anti-twist um, holes, in addition to the quarter 20 in the center, and I, I see that, that we've got good lighting right now, uh, you've got a hole here. It's a pinhole, actually, and another one here. And those two holes will accept the two pins. And let me back out. Um, it will accept the two pins that are on the ball end of this arm. And let me just bring this down so that you can see this. Um, <clears throat> bring it in again for you. I should have brought that a bit lower. Well, in fact, this arm does just about anything. So not only can I do that, I can also then lift up. You see how, how much articulation you get. So you have your quarter 20 here, but then you have two collapsing pins here. They're spring-loaded collapsing because if you don't have those holes uh, on the uh, plane, on the surface, where you've got the quarter 20 female threaded uh, hole like you do on this light, uh, if you don't have two locating pinholes, these will collapse against that flat surface. So that's a good thing. Let me put this back on again, start screwing it back in, and as I turn it in, I've located those two pinholes, and now this light is well supported. Uh, you can see now that the light is very well supported, and it's not going to twist and turn. Uh, okay, so I, st <laughs> I really like this arm. In fact, uh, it's, to me, it, it was a five-star item the minute I took it out of the box and started working with it. Uh, I love the fact it's got this master knob here. When you unloosen the knob, everything goes limp to a degree and becomes adjustable. Uh, where the two arms come together, there's a, um, a ratchet 
uh, type uh, connection right here uh, so that you can rotate these uh, 360 degrees. When you get them where you want, you tighten here. When you tighten this master knob right here, uh, the ball joints tighten up. So if I leave this at an angle like that, and my light at an angle like that, okay, can you see that? When I leave it at that angle and the arm is where I want it and I start tightening, this freezes, this freezes, it, all the joints freeze at that uh, adjustment point, which is fantastic. Okay, here's where you might have a problem. Uh, when I decided I was going to use the arm to uh, uh, go on top of my DSLR, I thought, well, I'll just go into the cold shoe, hot shoe. Up here, it's the hot shoe. But you can't do that because on each end you've got quarter 20. You can't go to quarter 20 into the shoe. So what I immediately did without having the adapter that I wanted, and I'll show you that adapter, I thought, okay, how do I go from shoe to a, a female quarter 20 uh, such that this can screw in? Well, typically when you've got to go uh, female to a male which exists, you get what's called a coupler. And here is a very standard hardware item. This is a quarter 20 a uh, coupling nut. It's uh, about an inch long, okay? This is not, by the way, the solution I'm going to keep. Uh, I actually ordered through Amazon a formal adapter which will take you from a, a shoe, a cold shoe, hot shoe, to a female quarter 20 where you can then screw this arm in and tighten it like so. I'm doing this with one hand, obviously. I now have converted the male quarter 20 to a female using the coupler, right? Well, that's not the end of it. Then what I did, because I've got a huge toolbox of accessories that I've collected over the years, and I found a small ball mount, okay? So let me bring it in a bit so you can see this. I'm going to put the arm down. First thing I did is I took my ball mount, and this is a very modest ball mount. It's not one of the best, but it's good for a demo. Uh, I've got my shoe at the bottom, and I've got a quarter 20 up here. So I push in, and now I've got the ball mount. I tighten the ball mount down. I now have a quarter 20 up here. I've got my locking disc here. Now, because I've added the uh, quarter 20 coupler, I can then screw in, and I, I don't want to leave it this way because there's a lot of weight leverage uh, at this angle. And um, uh, this arm, by the way, is rated for about six pounds, three kilograms. But uh, when you're at an angle like this with all that weight in the camera. Well, anyway, what I want to show you is the end result. Here's the coupler, the extra one. I bought two of them today at the hardware store. Uh, I'm going from my ball mount, which went into the shoe and gave me a quarter 20 sticking up. I then put the coupler in. Then I was able to screw my um, small rig arm in. I guess what I'm saying, it's the summary point. Um, it would have been really nice, and maybe I missed it somewhere. It would have been nice had small rig included the adapter, which I ordered on Amazon. So you can get the adapter. It will do all of this without creating this extra length. And uh, this extra length is not well supported. Again, I wanted to show this to you today in the video. And that's why I did that. Uh, so that's really the only uh, issue I had with not so much the arm, 
but with the way they configured the item. I wish they had put that uh, adapter in or made it easily available. The huge value with this arm item is that it is so adjustable. Um, well worth the investment and if you're like me and you're going from video to photo, I do a lot of still work uh, supporting what I do. Uh, this kind of an accessory item is, it's just fantastic. Um, and again, I, <laughs> I was very, very impressed with the fact that the single knob uh, once you get everything, if, if I come up with some strange configuration here, once I get what I want, when I turn this single knob, I've locked in my results and my solution.